morning and welcome to story time. I hope you have some, some friends nearby. Maybe some of you have special friends at your house. Friends that have fur on their skin or scales or make funny noises. Do any of you guys have some pets or animals that live in your house? Maybe you have a dog or maybe you have a cat or maybe you have a turtle or a fish or a gerbil or a hamster. There's lots of different kinds of pets out there. And we're gonna do a little story time about some of the pets that might live at your house. So first, we've got a song about a very special dog, but first let's sing our welcome song. Hello everyone and how are you? Hello everyone and how are you? Hello everyone and how are you? How are you today? All right, and I promised a song about a dog. So this is a special song about a dog named Rags. And it goes like this. I have a dog, his name is Rex. He eats so much that his tummy sags. His ears flip flop and his tail wig wags. And when he walks, he goes zig zag. He goes flip flop, wiggle waggle, zig zag. Flip flop, wiggle waggle, zig zag. Flip flop, wiggle waggle, zig zags. I love Rex and he loves me. Let's try that song one more time, ready? I have a dog, his name is Rex. He eats so much that his tummy sags. His ears flip flop and his tail wig wags. And when he walks, he goes zigzag. He goes flip flop, wiggle waggle, zigzag. Flip flop, wiggle waggle, zigzag. Flip flop, wiggle waggle, zigzag. I love Rex and he loves me. But not everybody has pet dogs as pets. Sometimes we have other things as pets. And our story today is all about a very spe special type of pet. And it's called Children Make Terrible Pets by Peter Brown. And it's published by Little Brown and Company. Looks like we've got some special characters here. La la la. Let's see. One morning, Lucy was practicing her twirls when she noticed she was being watched. Hello, who's there? I can smell you behind those bushes, so just come on out. Squeak. When her secret admirer scurried into the open, Lucy could not believe her eyes. It's a child. don't say squeak, but maybe that's what bears hear when they hear us talk. I wonder. So Lucy brought the critter home to show her mom. Mom! Look what I found outside. I call him Squeaker because he makes funny sounds. Squeak! See, isn't he the cutest? Can I keep him, please? Do you think she should be able to keep him? Let's see. Lucille Beatrix Bear, don't you know that children make terrible pets? Oh, come on, Mom, look how sweet he is. You won't be in trouble, will you, boy? Squeak. Hmm. All right, you can keep him on one condition. Squeaker is your responsibility. I will not take care of him for you. Thanks, Mom. Squeaker is going to be the best pet ever. You'll see. Lucy and Squeaker were inseparable. They played together. Looks like they're having fun. They ate together. Oh, that looks like fun. She's tossing berries for him to catch in his mouth. They napped together. Lucy and Squeaker did everything together. But it wasn't all fun and games. He was impossible to potty train. Squeak! He ruined the furniture. Squeak! Oh. He caused problems wherever he went. We don't throw food at tea parties. Just when Lucy thought things couldn't get any worse,
Squeaker disappeared. Squeaker? Here, Squeaker. Lucy checked all the usual hiding spots, but her pet was nowhere to be found. Come here, boy. Squeaker? Squeaker, where are you? Sniff, sniff. Lucy had almost given up hope when her sensitive nose caught a whiff of Squeaker. Oh, I wonder if he hope she, hope she can find him. He's pages are being carried to the table. <gasps> so she went down and around. Oh, over. <gasps> Lucy followed Squeaker's scent this way and that across the entire forest until finally she found Squeaker. But something had changed. Squeaker didn't seem like a pet anymore. Lucy knew what she had to do. Goodbye, Squeaker. Squeak, 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 woof. <laughs> the dog says woof. Squeaker belongs with his family. I'm really gonna miss that little fella. I guess some critters just aren't meant to be pets. Maybe it's all for the best. Lucy had a lot to think about on her walk home. By the end of the day, Lucy had learned one very valuable lesson. You're right, Mom. Children do make terrible pets. They really are the worst. <sighs> the end. Or is it? Do you think Lucy's going to find a new pet? I think she might. wonder if that's how that one's going to go. She really did like her squeaker, didn't she? <laughs> but it, he belongs with his family. Yeah. All right. Well, let's sing another song about someone with some unusual pets. Let's try this one. You might know the tune and you might know it's kind of like a song that might be familiar to you. So let's see if we can figure it out. Old MacDonald had a pet. E-I-E-I-O. And that great pet, it was an elephant. E-I-E-I-O, with a <laughs> here and a <laughs> there, here a <laughs> here a where and there, everywhere a <laughs> old MacDonald had a pet, E-I-E-I-O. Now to admit, elephant sounds are not my forte, so I do I did apologize for that. But let's try another pet animal. How about a... Cat. We haven't done any cats yet. Old MacDonald had a pet, E-I-E-I-O. And that dear pet, it was a cat, E-I-E-I-O. With a meow meow here and a meow meow there. Here a meow, there a meow, everywhere a meow meow. Old MacDonald had a pet, E-I-E-I-O. Hmm, let's try a different kind of pet. What about a pet? unicorn. Let's see. Old MacDonald had a pet, E-I-E-I-O, and that dear pet, it was a unicorn, E-I-E-I-O, with a nay, nay here, and a nay, nay there, here, and nay there, and nay, everywhere, and nay. Old MacDonald had a pet, E-I-E-I-O. Okay. Let's try another story about a pet. This one is called uh, about how you treat our pets. And Lucille, I think, knew some of this. There's always more that we can work on. And it goes like this. Love, love, love your pet. Love them every day. Give them food and water too and let them run and play. Let's try that again. Love, love, love your pet. Love them every day. Give them food and water too and let them run and play. And that can be true for any kind of pet, although I don't think a snake runs very far. But sometimes they do need exercise. Sometimes they get exercise by staying in their cave, in their homes, depending on where they live. And sometimes they get exercise by being going out for walks. Lots of different pets do lots of different things, don't they? 
Well, that's going to be the end for our story time today. So thank you all for joining me and singing some songs about your pet, about different kinds of pets. There's lots of different animals out there, aren't there, that we can have in our houses. So now we're going to say goodbye. Let's all get ready to say goodbye. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye, my friends, goodbye, my friends, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. I hope you have a lovely week and say hello to your pet.